Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey Prince, aka Princess of Curls. If you're new here, welcome. I do natural hair, body care, and lifestyle vlogs. Stay a while, that subscribe button down below. Now let's get started. Bond Bar, I'll show you guys right here. These products look very familiar, in my opinion. They're like a dupe for Olaplex. Haven't tried them yet, so I can't really say that yet. This is the number three. This is the Bonding Pre Shampoo. Okay, so how we use this product, apply a generous, a generous amount from scalp to tip on damp hair. Leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes. Rinse hair, shampoo with number four, and condition with number five. Recommended to use two or three times a week. So this is just gonna be a review. I haven't used this at all, none of these products, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use the Bond Pre Shampoo. With number four, this is the Bonding Shampoo. So let me read what this is. Apply to wet hair, massage from scalp to ends, and rinse. Follow with the conditioner. So some claims it says it reduces breakage by combing during combing by 70%, improves wet detangling by 90%, and strengthens and repairs highly damaged hair after the first use. Okay, so all of the bond bars, I think they say all the same claims on the bottle. Um, it also says it's SLS and SLES free and phthalate free. So that tells me that there's probably a water soluble silicone in these products. I'm fine with using that, but at least they don't have the bad silicones like dimethicone or those heavy silicones that are hard to rinse out. But of course, check online, make sure you check the ingredients. Okay, so that was number four. So after we pre shampoo, shampoo our hair, then we're gonna use number five. This is the bonding conditioner. So apply a generous amount from scalp to tip, leave on for three minutes, then rinse. Follow with the styling cream. So for me, this is a rinse out conditioner and it says to follow with the cream. So after we condition our hair, we're gonna follow up with the cream. This is the number six. This is called the bonding styling cream. It says apply a very small amount to damp or dry hair. Concentrating product on your middle lengths to ends. Comb through and style as desired okay so this is the last step so I'm gonna treat the bonding styling cream like a leave-in because I'm gonna apply a gel because I need my hair to last and have curl definition I'm not sure if this is gonna do it in the curl definition department and long-lasting hold I'm gonna get right into it I have to wet my hair and then I'm gonna use the pre shampoo so I just came back from wetting my hair, so I didn't wash, I just wet my hair, so there's still product in my hair. The direction say to just wet your hair and apply this pre-shampoo. So I'm going to split my hair into two sections. Now here's the number three, the pre-shampoo. So I'm going to apply like a quarter size amount. It is lightweight consistency. You can see it's dripping down. The smell kind of has like a salon sweet smell. I like it. So as I'm applying in my hair, it has slip. I love the slip that's giving, but I didn't use a lot of product. So as you guys saw, I just used that on one section. So I'm using that on one section, making sure I get my mid lengths to ends not really focusing too much on the roots but i will later on so now on the other side i'm making sure i'm getting the mid lengths upper top all the way down drag it all the way down to the bottom make sure you get the ends from roots to tips making sure you coat all of your hair now as you guys will see at the end that i realized i should have put more product but it's okay so now the directions say to also apply it on the scalp so i'm making sure i really get it in the scalp Now I'm just doing two large chunky twists so I can make sure it fits in the cap. There's no specific way I'm doing this. You just tie it up and make sure it fits in the cap to trap all of that product in there. And I'm going to keep it on for 10 minutes before I rinse it out. So now that I rinsed it out, it kind of felt like I steamed my hair. So that's the purpose of a cap. I didn't put a heated cap. I just put a plastic cap over it. My hair feels very silky. I love how it feels. The pre-shampoo did its thing. Don't mind my facial expressions. <laughs> Sometimes I'm me mug. Next is the bonding shampoo. So I want to make sure I get the shampoo in my scalp as you see me doing. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Make sure you get the scalp all the way down to the tips. We make sure we shampoo all of our hair here from root to tip. So you just want to make sure you scrub thoroughly. Get 
everything out. Scrub, 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 and make sure you bring down the product towards the end. Next, you just see me massaging my scalp some more. At this point, you can use a scalp, scalp massage brush if you would like. Now I'm going to rinse out the shampoo. Now that I rinse it out, I'm drying my hair a little bit before applying the conditioner. So now here is the number five bonding conditioner. So first of all, it's thick. I like how creamy and thick it is, but not too thick. But I love how creamy it is. I'm able to lightly detangle my hair. My hair is already detangled at this point, so I love that. And I love how easy it is to just drag the product through my hair. I love how it feels. I just love everything about it. I didn't use too much, so I like how I didn't have to use a lot of product. Now I rinsed the conditioner out, and now we're about to go and style my hair. My hair feels very soft and nice, so I'm just loving how it feels right now. So I'm just playing in my hair to show you guys how it feels. Last is the styling cream. So I'm going to use this as a leave-in, as I was explaining before. So I'm going to apply this all over my hair in small sections, treating it as a leave-in, but it's really a styling cream. So depending on your hair porosity, your hair density, and the types of products you use on your hair, this may work alone for you by itself. But for me, I'm going to add a gel. So you're seeing me scrunching it in. At this point, I did add a gel. I'm going to show you guys which gel I used later on. But I am scrunching it. You can see the definition starting to come through here. So now I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and I'll come right back. So here I'm just doing my bangs. I like to sing a lot of my bangs and make sure I twirl I just finished applying all of the Bond Bar products. Of course, on top of my gel. So here are the end results. Now here are my wet results. Um, I'm gonna be posting on the community tab or on Instagram of my final results. But so far, let's do a recap. My thoughts on the Bonding Pre Shampoo. I feel like it had a lot of slip, but I didn't use enough. So all of the products say to use well, this one says to use a generous amount, and there's only a little bit in here, and I didn't use a generous amount. So I felt like if I used a bit more product, I would have gotten the slip that I would like. But I'm definitely going to try this again, but I did like this product as a whole. Bonding Shampoo. So I love this product. This product out of all the products was my favorite. It had a lot of slip. It even had suds. It was very silky in the hair. I could even detangle if I wanted to. All of the Bond Bar, Bond Bar products, it says it improves wet detangling by 90% and reduces breakage during combing by 70%. And I agree, it does do that. So the Bonding Shampoo, I highly enjoyed and I do recommend because of the ingredients and of how it felt in my hair. The conditioner. Conditioner, awesome as well. Slip was there. Um, consistency wise, it was thick. Um, it wasn't too thick, but it was thick enough for me to feel the moisture in my hair but when it touched water it was very silky so I liked that it says to apply a generous amount I definitely did you guys saw me apply it highly recommend that as well love it so far and the last product that I used was the bonding styling cream now I use this like a leave-in because my hair I need to last so I did not want a failed wash and go at all so I'm like let me apply a gel after it but when I was applying this styling cream um it felt good in my hair I felt like it was defining my curls I felt that um I like the moisture that it gave now as far as hold I'm not sure I'm not looking for this product for hold I'm gonna treat it like a leave-in or like a moisturizer for my hair type so if you have straight hair wavy hair or not as thick or thicker hair you might have to use this product differently but for me as a leave-in i like it so far and of course i topped the gel on it just so you guys know so you guys are aware i use a twist by weed ad it says weightless gel so i wanted to make sure i don't use a heavy gel because i really want to see how this styling cream works so that is the end of the video, you guys. Be sure to check the community tab or my Instagram. Here's my Instagram handle for the results, the end results of all of these products. Let me know if you try these products or if you want to try these products, what you think about it. And I'll see you on the next one.